It's Nightfall here. Right back at again with five things new players should know in dark and light. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little bit of an episode thing. If you do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down there. If you're new to the channel you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. So, let's get cracking. So, at number one, super, super easy. But, the pick will get you different things than what the hatchet does. So, you will get more sulfur than you will get stone. In comparison, same as using it on a tree, you're going to get more twine than you would do wood with the axe. Quite basic, quite straightforward. What a lot of people don't know, and this is something that I've learned recently, sometimes when you hit them with the left click, you don't get anything. But if you right click, you get something every single time. It's a lot better, a lot easier to gather materials, and you're not stood there clicking. Okay, so in that number two, this one might sound really stupid, but read the tooltips. So I spent a long time trying to wait until I could get some iron to make the iron sickle. Iron scythe. You don't need iron. It uses copper ore, it uses hide, and it uses wood. I was completely put off by the fact it said iron, so I never made one. It's definitely worth making one, let me show you. So I found, especially on a proper server, if you spam it, you don't tend to get anything. But if you click it once, you will. And this is exactly how you get all your seeds. As you can see, I'm leveling up now currently. This will level up your farming. Again, single click. And this is the easiest way to get straw without having to cook all your grass as well. Super easy. Super good tip. Straight in at number three, guys. Super, super easy tip here. But a lot of people don't realize you can do this and get confused by it. If you want to build a building in the same way that I've got behind me that I'm currently working on, it's really, really, really simple. Get some triangle foundations. I'm going to go with the magic ones for now. They just seem to show up a little bit better. All you need to do, get some triangle foundations. Three by three, making six in total. All you're going to do then is on all of the triangle edges, you're going to put some squares. Ignore that one. That one's clearly messed up. Chuck that back there. One there, one there, one there. And then fill in the middles. With triangles super easy all you would need to do you have to just be careful as you can see a few times it does clip elsewhere when you don't want it to clip so make sure you get some extra materials when you're doing it but all you'd need to do then onwards is to put another one there two triangle foundations on either side of it and then squares again on the ends so just remember triangles in the middle squares onto the triangles triangles between the squares triangles back on the squares and squares back on the triangles Really easy, really effective, and you can make a really nice rounded tower. So my fourth tip, very, very, very simple, but often overlooked, is where to find copper and iron and mithril. So, I'm in a mountain, that's where the, the stuff is, it's easy. So, as I was saying before, sometimes when you hit this, you're not going to get anything out of it. Really frustrating. Right click every single time, look at that. So, just again, just to show you that this isn't a fluke, right click in. Smashing it every single time. I'm just going to left click once. Right click in. Boom. So much more. So much better. And you can spam it as well. So the copper is going to be copper colour, funny enough. Your iron, as you go up here. We're going to see some iron. It's going to be grey colour. And very rarely, you are also going to see some mithril, which is white in colour. I've got to be careful to avoid this dragon that's on one of the mods that we're playing. Because he will eat me. But yeah, there's some ironstone just up there, guys. You can see just there. So my fifth and final tip for all you guys is how to gamma. I think it's probably the most important thing that you should know how to do on this game. So as you can see, I've got a fairy here. The light isn't the best. I can't really see very far in front of me. But if you press the plus pad on your noon pad, the plus button, you can then gamma. And let's say we're going to gamma three. You can see there's a difference straight away. Gamma all the way up to four. You can go a lot higher. The standard gamma rate is gamma two. So when it's two o'clock in the morning on your dark and light server and you haven't got a fairy and you're not sure what to do, just hit that plus button, type in gamma, and then pick a number. 
And that's it guys, that is my top 5 tips for new players to Dark and Light, or for beginners to Dark and Light. I really hope you've enjoyed it, I hope it's been helpful. If you have, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button in the down there. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. I do Dark and Light series, if you like watching some people play Dark and Light, check it over. Just go straight to my channel, I've got a full on series going on there. And also, if you've got any comments, if you'd like to see some more stuff like this, maybe a taming video or something, then leave us a little bit of a comment down there. Keep us safe, guys!